Hey friend, welcome back to the Sage Audio Channel. Today we're going to be discussing the top 10 headphone amplifiers for both mixing and mastering. Now these are going to be in no particular order, but stick around for the full video so you can find the headphone amp that works best for you. Also, if you want more information on these amps, I'd highly recommend looking into the blog post that's associated with this video. You can find the link for that in the description box below. Also, if you're an artist, an engineer, or a producer, and you have a mix that you need mastered, you can send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and uh, send you a free mastered sample. All you have to do is set up this short account, upload the song, and we do the rest. So number 10 is the Prism Kalia. The Prism Kalia offers an incredibly transparent and accurate depiction of your mix or master. It has a USB 2.0 connection and pristine D to A conversion like all of Prism's equipment. So connecting your Kalia to your digital sound source is really easy. In addition to the one headphone output on its front panel, the Prism Kalia has two XLR outputs on the back, meaning you can use it for traditional monitoring setups as well. Furthermore, the Kalia supports both PCM and DSD formats, adding to its flexibility. The Prism Kalia also has incredibly low noise and total harmonic distortion, which adds up to 0.0005% of your signal. Lastly, the Prism Kalia offers up to 113 dB in dynamic range and can support digital conversion up to 32-bit, 384 kHz. Now, this means that it won't be obsolete for some time, giving you the comfort of knowing that your investment won't be phased out by higher digital resolutions or changing file types, at least not anytime soon. Number 9, SPL Fonitor X Headphone Amp and Preamp plus DAC. The SPL Fonitor X provides incredibly clear D to A conversion for digital sources as well as an A to A amplification for analog sources. Now with USB, coaxial, optical, and analog inputs, the SPL Fonitor X is a flexible option for any studio. XLR and component or RCA outputs means that the SPL Fonitor X also serves as a monitor amplifier and can send your signal to most audio devices for monitoring. So for example, if you wanted to hear how your master would sound on consumer grade equipment, you could use the RCA outputs to send it to some inexpensive speakers. The SPL Fonitor X is suited for headphones with greater than 10 ohms of resistance, so it will work well for almost all studio headphones. Additionally, low THD and noise of about 0.00091% make it an accurate source for monitoring your mixes or masters. Additionally, its DAC is capable of converting digital signals up to 24-bit 192 kHz with a supported frequency response of up to 300 kHz. Number 8, Bryston BHA-1 Balanced Headphone Amp. With each component hand-tested and all connections gold-plated, the Bryston BHA-1 is designed with audio files in mind. In addition to appealing to home audio aficionados, this headphone amp is suitable for studio applications. With additional drivers that provide 14 dB or 20 dB of input gain, the Bryston BHA-1 is ideal for amplifying quieter sources without adding unwanted distortion or saturation. Solely analog inputs mean that an additional D to A converter will be necessary if your source is digital. The back panel includes balanced XLR inputs and outputs, meaning that studio monitors can be connected as well. The front panel includes the traditional quarter inch headphone jack along with balanced left, right, and stereo outputs designed for headphone use. An input select as well as the aforementioned high and low gain selection also occupy this front panel. Number seven is the Avinson Audio Headphone Amp. Solely a headphone amplifier, the Avinson Audio Headphone Amp is a straightforward, simplistic yet powerful headphone amplifier for both mixing and mastering applications. Two quarter inch headphone outputs give you added flexibility and the option to compare your mix or master on two different headphone types without the need to pause, unplug, and replug your headphones. The stereo crossover function reduces the amount of channel isolation headphones create by introducing a small amount of stereo bleed. The simplistic knob located on the front panel is the only other variable function the Avinson Audio Headphone Amp offers. Number 6, Little Labs Monitor Headphone Amp. If you're looking for a simple headphone amplifier, one that can cleanly and accurately depict your signal, the Little Labs Monitor Headphone Amp is an affordable option for any home studio. Offering six different headphone configurations, including stereo, inverted stereo, dual mono, left, right, and one channel inversion for phase cancellation, 
The Little Labs monitor offers monitoring flexibility so you can hear your mix or master from multiple perspectives. Two quarter inch headphone jacks and two eighth inch headphone jacks make plugging into the Little Labs monitor easy with no need for quarter inch adapters. Balanced quarter inch and unbalanced XLR inputs on the back panel allow for flexibility when inputting your analog source. Number five, Rupert Neve Designs RNHP Precision Headphone Amplifier. Another affordable yet high quality amplifier on this list, the Rupert Neve Designs RNHP Precision Headphone Amplifier offers exceptional quality for under $500. Modeled after the headphone amp in their R&D 5060 centerpiece, the RNHP Precision Headphone Amp offers reliable reference-grade amplification to just about any pair of headphones that you plug into it. The RNHP Precision Headphone Amplifier offers three distinct input sections, a professional line level XLR and line input section, an RCA section, and a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. Each one of these inputs can be selected via the front panel. This means that you can use this headphone amp to monitor your mix and then quickly switch to another input for comparison. Now, this makes it a useful tool for performing a quick A-B comparison between two mixes or two masters. Number four is the Hafler HA75 tube headphone amp. If you're looking for a headphone amplifier that's a great option for professional monitoring and offers options to enhance a casual listening experience, then the Hafler HA75 tube amplifier is a good pick. This headphone amplifier covers a lot of bases. It includes DAC, analog inputs, variable impedance, a focus function that emulates loudspeaker crossover, a input switch between analog and digital inputs, and a vox function that employs a low frequency shelf or a loudness contour. Additionally, the tube used generates subtle harmonics that result in a full sound. Granted, the tube in this device won't generate these harmonics unless driven significantly, but you do have the option to generate them by increasing the output or input. Number three is the MyTech Brooklyn DAC and headphone amp slash preamp. A headphone amplifier for both professional studios and audiophiles alike, the MyTech Brooklyn DAC and headphone amp and phono preamp is a pro-class unit. In terms of connectivity, the MyTech Brooklyn DAC supports both analog and digital inputs and supports a clean D to A conversion. This conversion is up to 32 bits, 384 kilohertz via a USB 2.0 connection, while the analog inputs supports up to 130 dB of dynamic range. A phonograph connection and amplifier means that you can use your vinyl records as a reference, or you can simply use them for enjoying the hi-fi sound. A digital display shows both the average RMS level and the peak level of your signal. Two headphone outputs means added flexibility for this unit and the ability to reference two different headphones simultaneously. Number two, Grace Design M900 Headphone Amp. Following the success of its flagship headphone amplifier, the Grace M920, the Grace Design M900 headphone amp offers superior headphone monitoring before a more affordable price. Two headphone outputs on the front panel as well as an unbalanced RCA output for monitors on the back give you some options when you're monitoring. The small size of the Grace Design M900 make it perfect for any on-the-go engineers. Additionally, the Grace M900 is bus powered, making it that much easier to take to a coffee shop or on the road or any place that you might be working on your music. A 5 volt USB connection is available for any additional power when needed. By holding down the one and only rotary for two seconds, you can access various aspects and parameters, including the crossover amount, the output to your monitors, and you can also save presets for future use. Number one, Link Studio Technology Hilo DNT. Now, although this list wasn't created in any particular order, this amplifier is really impressive. With immaculate D to A and A to D conversion and analog connectivity, the Lynx Studio Technology Hilo DNT offers flexibility and professional headphone monitoring. In terms of analog connection, the Lynx Hilo DNT offers XLR line in and out, left and right monitor outputs, and a quarter inch headphone output on the front panel. Digital connectivity includes a USB 2.0 connection, Speedif in and out, AES in and out, and the ADAT optical connection. The front panel showcases a digital display, which you can use to alter your inputs, your routing, and your gain. Additionally, you can use this display to monitor your inputs, their relative volumes, and alter your D to A conversion. Lastly, the digital conversion software supports up to 24-bit and 192 kilohertz. So these are our thoughts on the best headphone amps, but what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below.
Also, again, definitely check out the blog post where you can find a lot more information on this topic and others like it. There's a link in the description box below. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer, send us one of your mixes at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. All you got to do is set up this short account, upload the song, and we'll do the rest. But thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. This way we know if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Also, you can subscribe to the channel. We release new videos every week, and subscribing is the best way to stay up to date. There's a comment section where you can leave your thoughts on this video or a suggestion for a future video. And again, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.